Okay, today we're going to be replacing an old, worn-out single-speed motor with a U.S. Motors Neptune variable speed motor. While you're doing all this, the best thing to do, since you got your whole pump torn apart, is to replace all the seals and gaskets inside the motor inside the pump. So you can get uh, from pretty much any pool supply store online. So you can get the a pump kit that has all that in there for probably any style of pump that's out there. First things we gotta do, uh, you'll need a 9 16 socket. You'll need a quarter inch socket to take out some other uh, small bolts. You'll need a 7 16 open end wrench or a pump wrench. And also for the, uh, to stop the shaft from turning on the uh, new motor, uh, you need a 5 16 uh, Allen wrench. So we're gonna get started here and take, take off the old pump. Take off the old motor from the pump. There's four bolts you need to take off to remove the, the motor from the pump itself. You need to take off the suction diffuser. And if you notice, on each one of these, they're going to mark probably either the top or the bottom. So when you put them back on, they go they go in that orientation. And normally they'll have a a detent or something on here too that, that only allows you to put it on one way. You notice you can't you only put it on one direct one way. So so now we need to take off the back of the motor so we can stop the shaft from turning to get the impeller off. This is where you use a quarter inch socket. This is also where we're going to disconnect our wiring to run back to the new pump. So here's here's where you use a 7 16 wrench. Sometimes it's not real easy to get it on the shaft. I think a pump wrench would probably be easier because it's made for just that one thing. Just unscrew the impeller in a counterclockwise direction and they come right off the shaft. Take the rest of the pump housing off. There'll also be, now there's gonna be four bolts that have the the pump mount, the motor mount for the pump, uh, and that will attach directly to the new motor. Same size, nine sixteenths. And in theory, uh, when you get your new U.S. Motors variable speed motor, you need to make sure you order the correct style of motor. Uh, so you'll have to talk to your pool supply place and let them know exactly the type of motor you have right now. And they will uh, cross-reference that to the type of variable speed motor you need as far as mountings. Okay. Comes out there. As you can see, this motor has been used quite a bit. And take the, the wiring off there in a few seconds. You know, when you go to buy a new pool pump, it's not really necessary to get the entire assembly. All you really need, if your pump housing and your impeller and everything else is good on your pump, all you need is new gaskets, O-rings, and you put the new motor right on your old pump. And it's, that's gonna save you probably half the cost, at least half the cost. So on here, also, now we're going to take off an O-ring, or that to be a gasket, and we're going to replace that with the gasket that comes with it. I'm just going to use a little denatured alcohol and wipe off these areas where the, where the new gaskets are going to go. Make sure you get a good... 
make sure I just get it nice and clean. And also in the kit, they provide you a little bit of silicone lubricant that will keep your gaskets fresh. Silicone lubricant. So you just need to put a little bit all around your gasket. And then we'll just work that back in the slot that was there. So with the new gasket in there, we're going to now replace the seal on the shaft. This is something else that that will vary with the with the pump you have. The seals are going to be different for different types of pumps. And again, whatever pump you have, the, the kit will have the proper seal. Seal comes in two parts. We'll just pull off, it'll pull off the shaft of your impeller, just like that. And we will also put just a little bit of the same silicone lubricant. And all it does is it presses right down in place where the old one was. Now for the other half of the seal, not really difficult either, but you can see the seal there, so actually you can see it's a little bit worn. So the easiest thing to do is just take a little flathead screwdriver and a hammer and you can just get around the edge and tap that out. There's the old, there's the new. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to put just a little bit of that silicone on the outside of this. Don't get it on the, on the ceramic. And all it does should just press right in. Should I say that? If I put it on the right side, it'll press right in. So now that we got that done, we could actually. Get ready to mount this back to the to the new motor. So in the reverse order that we went to before, here I'll notice top has a little detent on there. It says top right there. So you want to put it on, make sure that's that's towards the top, and use the same four three ace short bolts. Don't need to be torqued down real tight. Just snugged up. Little thread protector cap will obviously have to come off. Top. Fits right at the top. Fits that little detent that's on there. And here, here's where we're going to need that little Allen wrench. Because if not, you, you won't be able to get that tight and it, it will just spin. I just have one made for a socket, so it's not using any standard Allen wrench. And again, the, the impeller doesn't have to be real tight because the rotation of the the motor itself will actually tighten the impeller on there. So now we're going to put our suction diffuser back on. There's a gasket on there also. 
same thing here. A little bit of silicone lubricant. Just work it around, make sure all this all the surfaces are covered. Slip it right back on the suction diffuser. Top. Top. It only fits one way. So there's there's little dimples on your chest I think showed you before, but it, it can only go in one way. Now, all we gotta do is set it back in place. And put our four bolts back in. And that's really all there is to mounting the motor to the, to the pump. Uh, we'll still have to I'll show you a little bit of the wiring here, which is actually pretty self-explanatory. And the, that's all shown in the instructions as far as wiring it. Now that we have the motor mounted after we put in our four bolts, uh, we're going to take the cover off of the Neptune motor. And I will show you what that looks like, like on the inside. So we have low power side, high power side. So on this, there is a separate relay that can come on and off based on pump speed. So if you have a salt water generator or some other accessory that you need to turn on and off when you have when you have flow in the pool, this is you can do that by using a separate relay. So the pump has to be running at 2100 RPM in order for that relay to come on, which would provide power to your accessory. So mine will be doing a salt water generator. If you have something else, uh, maybe like an ozone generator or something else, uh, you'd probably want to use that. So power, in this case, you're going to take the knockout out. And off of the old pump, you will have, this is wired for 220 volts, so you're gonna have hot, hot, and ground. So the US motor, uh, you can actually run on this style of motor, uh, this horsepower, you could run either 120 volt or 220 volt, and it's auto sensing, so you don't have to worry about uh, setting the jumpers or dip switches on there. Just a half inch threaded conduit connection. Just half inch pipe thread. And it's very tight inside this old motor, so try not to destroy the wiring. So on the new motor. I think we're probably going to end up with not enough slack. These connectors will work fine on here. One of them, one of them is just a, a press on, the other ones are just screwed on connectors. insulation back here a little bit to give me a little bit more space. In this case we got hot, 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 and ground. So we can go hot. So we're finishing up the connection and after that's done that is really all there is to 
upgrading your old pump to a brand new high efficiency variable speed system. The cover just goes back on. The four screws get tightened down. That's it.